Well, hello, Fabs. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Yanla Tabwa, and welcome to the House of Tabwa. Okay, so I'm working on design number four for my bridal collection. Yes, I did number three. So if you guys didn't see that design, I'm going to link it above here so you can go ahead and watch it. I designed a lace bubble hem peplum pantsuit. So I'm going to be taking some design elements from that design to bring it into this design because I want to keep on with the volume-esque detailing, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and sketch out the idea so you guys can see what's in my head. So let's head over there now. Okay, so here is my rough sketch. And as you can see, it's going to be a high-low bubble hem gown with the poof at the bust cup. Right now it's a rough sketch, so you can't really see the details the way it's supposed to be, but it's gonna look just like the original dress that I did in my half scale. And then I'm also going to create a pants to go along with this dress because I want it to also be worn as a top. So I'm gonna be creating a satin pant, which is going to have a lace illusion, which the front's going to be lace and the mesh is going to match my skin tone so you can give that illusion look. And then the back will be solid just if you want to um, wear it alone without the top dress and it could be interchanged within the collection. Okay, ladies and gents. So we're back at the dress form as usual and I'm gonna get ready to create my design. So this is already uh, a design that I did before. I'm not changing it because I might be using it again. So disregard this design. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lay out the neckline design using the draping tape. Okay, so here's the neckline, which is going to be like this all the way to the side. I left the back going to be just like this, so I'm not going to even going to touch that. I'm just going to use the regular princess seams and the side seam just to create the bodice. So I prep my fabric with the one inch center front line. So I have my panel fully draped, the first panel. So what I'm gonna do is just basically follow, oops, follow the neckline detail.
So this is the bodice right now. And now I took a piece of fabric so I can go ahead and drape the front of this. So I'm gonna place, once again, center front line, I wanna give it enough room here. Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and just mark and put my seam allowance. So here's between where I need to gather. Those are my gather points. right here at the top just to gather it up so I can see when I put on the dress form. So this is what the top is going to be looking like. I wanted to kind of like a give it a puff at the bust cup, but not too much because I don't want to accentuate the bust. But I think this is going to be good because it kind of looks like a little flower. Um, I could put like some details um, here to really accentuate that. But um, I'll do that when I get there. So I'm going to go ahead and move to the bottom to do the skirt part of this top. So I'm going to reference my um, circle skirt pattern. Uh, I did a video on how I created this pattern. So I'm going to link it here on the top here for you to go and watch it. I'm going to use this to create the skirt and outer shell so that way um, I can create the balloon bubble hem skirt gown.
Now with my new pattern, I basically place it over the fabric that's going to be the outer layer and I'm going to go ahead and slash and spread. As you can see, this is the skirt. I went ahead and pinned the waistline and gathered it up and pinned it at the waistline, which is the lining of the skirt. And then I also pinned it at the bottom hem of the skirt just for me to see it. And I'm gonna place it on the dress form so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, guys, this is the drape bodice, as you can see. Um, this is what it's looking like um, right now. It's not giving me the full effect because this fabric is very drapey But you can get a concept of what it is going to be when it plays into the fabric So I went ahead and put the under bodice together and then now I'm going to create a whole casing so that way I can put my bones in. So I'm just going to push the seam allowance towards the seam and just top stitch for the placement of the bones. So here is the inner lining, the lining bodice, and I put it in the self fabric. I put button loops, and I also did put in my boning. Um, I used the seam allowance casing to create the case so that way I can apply the bones. So this is all done.
Queen bodice looks really, really good right now. I'm liking the way this looks. So let's get started on the outer shell. to the front bodice and as you can see I just gathered the neckline at the top and all I have to do is just fit it into the neckline of the lining. cute um i'm thinking about i should have put crinoline on this waistline right here but it probably would have been too bulky so i went ahead and did some um gathered some tool some stiff tool heavy and i'm going to place it on the inside just to give this more volume so here is the bodice So I went ahead and put some rhinestones here along the seam. Just kind of look like um, maybe a flower bud or something. That's how I see it. So I think it's going to look cute once it's worn. But this is the overall look of the gown. And I love it. Alright, so this piece is finally done and now it's time for me to move on to the pants. Now, the pants are going to be a lot of steps, so I'm not going to do it on camera. I'm going to do it off camera, but I will show you a little bit of details behind the scenes of how I'm creating it. Um, after that, and then I'm going to cut into showing you guys the final full look, honey, because this bridal piece is a bridal piece, okay? So stay tuned for that.
so here is the mesh fabric fully dried this is a color brown that they came out to which um, is a little bit light I needed to go darker but I think it's all right for my skin tone is very passing um, this is mostly going to be on my leg anyway so let's see it on my leg here's my leg and of course it's going to be it's not too too bad but um next time i think i have to go a little bit darker if anything but this is a sample so i'm going to get away with it so i'm going to go ahead and cut out my pants pattern on this fabric and then start laying the lace on here for the lace design. but I think it was going to be too busy. I wanted to keep it very simple and simplistic. Now, I did the pants to go along with this and let me show you the pants that I did. These are the pants that I created and as you can see, it has some rhinestone draped down, cascading down to give it like a little fun flare uh, moment, fringy moment. So this is look one. Let me know what you guys think of look one. And let's put on the pants you guys can really see what it's giving. So this is what it looks like with the pants underneath. And as you can see, it gives a little cute coverage, a little detail, lace detailing. And up close, you guys can see the fringe details that is happening. This is perfect for a little dancing. If you have a whole reception going on, these would be perfect for the dance floor. Cha cha, la la, yeah yeah, ha ha. Okay. All right, guys. So let me know what you think about this look. If you prefer this one over the first look, um, and I have a final look because again, the collection is supposed to be for interchangeable. So I'm going to take another pair of pants that I did for the last design to add it with this instead. If I didn't want, didn't want any lace work I just wanted to have a one white assemble I'm gonna show you what that looked like okay guys so this is the final look and this is a full pant on assemble um, as you can see it's paired with the taper pants from the last design and so if you want to go this route you can um, you can have a whole white bridal look which will be a pants look overall. So it's three different ways, which I love the fact that you can interchange it and make it what you like. So this is the third look. Let me let me know what you guys think and which look was your favorite. This is it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for my next design because it's going to be another grand one. We're getting very picture. So, stay tuned.
stay tuned and see you in my next video bye guys